Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome back to another exciting week in the development of arrays. Jeez, we're already two months into development, I can't believe it. There is like so much stuff has happened since last week, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the game for you so you can check out yourself what's happened, and I'm gonna talk it over briefly. And so, here I stand, the undefeated crowned victor upon the pile of sh shipping containers. So let's go back to the menu, and I'm going to restart the game, and I can walk you through all the things that have happened. First of all, as you heard, there are now sounds to basically everything in the game, from from hitting, to jumping, to even shooting the little gun, which is a neat feature we've added. The enemies now take a few frames before they actually hit you. They have a nice little wind-up animation with a nice little whoosh effect. So you can clearly see when they're attacking you. And apart from that, we've also done a uh, gone over and have done a whole lot of bug fixes. So the game run runs a lot more predictably. Like, the enemies won't do anything completely irrational or or jump excessive. Or, or like, you used to be able to do, stand here on this platform and jump excessively high. That won't happen anymore. There is a dodge move, which makes you invisible for a couple of frames. And also, it, as you can see in the top right, it also drains your stamina. So if I do it repeatedly, then I will, I will run out and I can't do that anymore. And I will be a little bit, little bit exposed to enemy attacks. And then there's this guy. Bam! This guy is a is a he's a robotic riot police, as you can see by his shield and his baton. And he will approach you. He will slam his shield into the ground and attack you. Any minute now. No. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. And it's really satisfying with sound as well. So he takes a couple of hits. And we're about to implement it so you can only attack him from behind. And so you jump over him or dodge past him. And then he takes a couple of frames to turn around. He does this little animation and then you hit it from behind. And he doesn't recoil as much as the lighter enemy type as well. He hits you for massive damage as well, which is uh, which I really like. But his... But apart from that, his attack is all, all, all as well a little bit slower, so he is a bit more predictable, but he is also a lot more devastating if you're not careful. So that is it for this week. Now, for the big announcement, we are... If we are on time, we will release the demo for Rays on Wednesday. This is going to be the first demo version we release, and if you are excited about it, feel free to let me know in the comments or contact me in any other way, and we and we will send you a copy of the game. And it would be really neat if you could let us know what you think. Let us know if you get a chance to play the game. Let us know, does it feel intuitive? Does it feel fun? What features would you like to see implemented? Are there any particular bosses or enemies you would like to see that you think would think would fit the game pretty well, or just just things you would like to see in the game in general? We love feedback, and you are more than welcome to give it to us. 
So with that said, I hope you will play our game on Wednesday and let us know what you think. It's going to be really fun upcoming week because we're going to have a physical demo as well in a, in a venue here in the town where I live. So we're hoping to get some really nice feedback that we can work on for uh, for getting the the alpha version. So uh, we are gonna be we're gonna hmm, how do I put this? We have a two day deadline now to get the first level up, and we're hope if we have time, we're hopefully gonna make a boss battle as well. So we need to design an arena for that and actually make the sprite for the boss, which is something I'm not looking forward to. Because the uh, the right police you saw, he took three days to just make the sprites and I'm not even done programming with the behavior yet. So now I'm going to make a boss in one day. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. If if nothing else, we'll just make it a bigger version of this robot if, if, we, if we can't under any circumstances finish the, the boss on time. But hopefully we're going to do that. Hopefully, I say. It would be really fun if we could get a boss battle up and see what people think. So with that said, I'm going to leave you there and I hope you try the game. Now, goodbye from little Mr. Race here who's doing this amazing combat pose. So yeah, see you next week.